Here's how to edit with Premiere Pro and let's jump into this tutorial. Inside of Premiere Pro, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click new project, and then you'll be prompted to select your footage either from your movies, your downloads, documents, etc. I'm in one of my albums already, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click the checkbox to import this all into my project. There we go, and then I'm just going to click create. Now we are inside the video editor, and I know there's a lot of buttons and words and things all over the place. Don't worry, half of them you're never gonna click in your life. But to start, what you wanna make sure to do is click the window button, go to workspaces, and then click on all panels. That way you have the same setup as I do. You can explore these other ones later, but just for now, click all panels. That way everything is on screen. Now we will take a look at a few of these panels later on, but just to simplify it, over on this side, you have your effect controls where you'll be able to make adjustments. You've got your preview screen. You have some other settings that you can adjust over here. This is your main timeline where your video clips, tax music is going to live. And and then over here is where you can import footage. I can always right click or double click with my finger on my touchpad and then I can click import and I'm taken back to that same spot where I can go through movies, my downloads, all that different stuff and import more footage into my project. But I've got everything so I'm gonna cancel out of that and be good there. Now you may notice there's already some clips here in the timeline when you import stuff, it throws it in there. I'm just gonna select it all with my mouse and click delete just so we're starting fresh. To add videos to to your timeline you just gotta grab the clips and drag them in with your finger so there we go I'm gonna drag my clips in just like so and now they are in the timeline if you want to rearrange clips the easiest way I found to do it is to just take the video clip drag it up drag this one over and then drag this one back there. So you can literally just move them around and rearrange them just by grabbing them. You can actually move them anywhere and they won't like slide and connect to each other unless you turn that on later. But everything pretty much you can just drag around however you like and it'll allow you to rearrange it. If you accidentally make a mistake and want to undo a certain action, you can always go up to edit here and then click undo. But you can also take a look at the command as well. For me on Mac, it's command Z. Uh, for other people, it should be on PC, it should be control Z, and that will reverse the action I did just by clicking that those keys on my keyboard. And paying attention to keyboard shortcuts is super important as you learn this editor. You'll be able to edit a whole lot faster by just following the keyboard shortcuts versus manually having to click on all these different things. Now with any video clip, you can always click on it and then using your mouse, drag from the far left or the far right to trim it from that edge. But this only works if you've got something you can easily trim there. It's not gonna work in all situations if you have a very long YouTube clip that you wanna trim up into a bunch of different areas. So what I like to do is paying attention to the audio bumps right underneath the video clip. As you can see down here, there are audio bumps. That lets me know I'm talking and there's something going on where I'll want to trim it to. So I'll go up to right where I was talking. There we go, I'm right there. And I can also use the directional pad buttons to slowly move up right to where I'm talking. And I can hear the noise of me talking there. So at this point, what I can do is go over to the far left side here and go down to the razor tool, or I can click C on my keyboard to switch to it. And I can zoom in, just using my fingers to pinch on the touchpad. And I can split it right there when I'm about to talk. And then I can scroll over to my selection tool, or I could just click V on the keyboard and then delete the previous section that I don't want. Now you'll notice that oftentimes in Premiere Pro, they'll leave this massive gap when you split something or you trim something or you delete something. So what you'll have to do is double click on your mouse pad or right click on your keyboard and you'll get the ripple delete button. You can click that and now it'll shoot it right back to where it's supposed to be. And now I can go through my edit. I can see I stopped talking here and I can click C to go to my split tool. Boom, click V again to go back to my selection tool and I can grab this playhead here and I can scroll with this to move through my timeline to the spot I want to trim again. C, click, V. So you can do the commands or you can always go over to this section and click on those and then I can click ripple delete and it'll connect those clips together. With the basics of trimming out of the way, let's get into how we can add things like overlays, text, music, etc., to our project. 
So let's take a look at video settings. When you click on a video, on the far top left section, you're going to see all the settings for this. You'll see things like scale, if we wanted to shrink this, or we can even click on it and just type in a number and adjust the size there. You've got rotation, you've got opacity, if you wanna make it more see-through or not. You'll also find things like volume control. So you can turn down the volume up and down. Uh, this is especially important for things like music. If you wanna change the filters or color settings of a clip, you just need to go over to Lumetri Color, which is on this far side. When we click on this, we'll be given all of our settings for color grading. So if I want, I can go to look and scroll through these, or I can even click through this arrow and preview a lot of different looks that are built right into Premiere Pro that I can apply to my clip. So I kind of like this SL Big HDR, so I'm just gonna click on it, instantly applies it to my clip, and I can also choose the intensity of it. So if I just want a little bit of this filter applied, boom, I have it. I can then scroll down further and change like the vibrance. I can also click on this basic correction and change things like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, all those different things. You'll also notice the creative, which is where we just were with the, the filters. There's curves here for adjustments. Uh, you got vignette in here. You got the color wheels, the HSL secondary, different things like that you can mess around with to really adjust the color of your video. Also on the far right side here, you're gonna find effects where you can apply audio and video effects to your clip. So if I go into video effects here, I could do something like a blur and I could do, let's just do this Gaugasian, I'm saying that totally wrong, blur, drop it on. And now on the far left side, we have the options for the blur. So I can increase the blur. There we go, we've blurred our clip. If we really wanted to do something like that, you'll find all the settings now over here. So as you drop an effect onto your clip, you'll see on the far left side for the settings for your video clip, all the different effects will come in. Uh, I'm just gonna click Command Z because I don't want my video blurred out. If you wanna add something like an overlay, all you have to do is literally drag your video clip and put it on top of another video clip. So if I set it here, this is actually a bit zoomed in because I believe it's a higher quality video clip. So I'll just zoom this out. There we go, just using the scale thing over here. And now, as I'm talking here, I can have a video clip play on top of my video clip. So doing overlays is simple as dragging a video clip on top of another. You can resize it. You can uh, move the position of it as well with this, these position tools. So if you were like a gamer, wanted to have your clip over in the corner to react to something or your game, you can have that set up. If you wanna add text to your video, there's actually two different ways you can do this. The first is down in our little tool section here, you'll see the little text button. I can click on this and start typing. So I can do my name, Colin Michael. There we go, click enter or just click off. And you'll see it already added an element down here right above our video clip. I can choose the position of my text just by dragging like this. There we go, put that in the corner. And I can customize my text settings either by double clicking on the text element itself or by opening essential graphics over here. And in here we'll find all these different text settings for customizing the font, the style, how it looks, different things like that. Now outside of this, if we delete this for a second, you can go to browse and there are some built-in text effects that have a little bit of animation or movement to them that Premiere Pro will give you access to, which is really nice. So they've got this one here where it kind of flies out and slides around, which is cool. These you just simply drag onto your timeline. And now when you click play, you're going to get the, the text on your screen. And you can click on this and customize it just the same under edit here, make all those changes. And you can go over to browse if you wanna look through more of these. If you want some more done for you professional text effects or just drag and drop like this, I'd recommend checking out Envato Elements as they have a huge library of different text and video effects that you can use inside of Premiere Pro. They have everything from like stock footage and photos to filmmaking effects and lens flares and crazy text effects. So for example, I have this simple title from Envato Elements. I'm just gonna slide onto my screen and I can click on it. I'm going to decrease the size a bit and then change the position of it down here. I can click on the text here and change it. And now when I click play on my video, I'm now gonna have this nice stylized text effect that I can use and I can also trim the length and it'll keep the same animation. So once it gets near the end, it'll animate itself out and move out.
If you're interested in checking them out, I will have my affiliate link down below in the description. You can click on that, see if it's right for you. It's definitely one of the lower cost options out there that's going to give you that extra next level step in professional text effects and video effects. If you want to add music to your project, there isn't really a music library built into Premiere Pro. You're going to have to get it from a third party source and import it just into your main project section here. So the same way you add videos to your project, you'll have to add music from a different site. I personally use Epidemic Sound. They have the highest quality audio tracks and I've been using them for years. I am an affiliate again with them. I'm not just trying to promote affiliates here, but that is the music I use for my video project. So if you want to check those out, you can. And I actually have one of those songs here in my timeline. And all you have to do is just drag it over and drop it in. And then if I click on this, I can also adjust the volume levels so it's not blaring loud. Uh, make sure you do actually adjust the volume levels down a bit. Uh, I usually like to do like a negative 30 usually works with my my audio setup so that way when you play your video the music is quiet but basically the same drag and drop feature. Once your video is complete just click the export button in the top right corner. They have some quick export settings here whether it be 4k, 1080p, higher bit rate, uh, different things like that so you just export it out and your project is ready to go. If you're interested in a more advanced editing tips inside of Premiere Pro I will do a follow up if this video gets a thousand and subscribers from it so if you want to see that make sure to subscribe as long as we hit that number I'll make a follow-up for you so thanks for watching this video and be sure to check out some of our other content right over here